Luroy's Pokemon Black and White Walkthrough, Part 25. Oh, I hate the Charge Stone Cave, but that's what we're going through today. So, to start things off, um, the new wild Pokemon in here are Joltik, Clink, Ferrisseed, and Tynamo. So, a pretty good mixture of Steel and Electric types. Um, I have my ratings for them down in the description, so check that out. And let's get things rolling, and oh my god, we got ninjas right off the bat. I still don't understand how these people just appear out of nowhere, and just, you know, it, it creeps me out, but whatever. So yeah, we got here, uh, the Lord N, as they refer to him. And he's talking about all this stupid stuff, like the Galvantula nest that was in front of the cave. Just a bunch of stuff that really doesn't matter. I mean, if there's anything I've learned from N, it's to, to not read any of his texts. It's just, it's stupid. Just skip it all. Don't read it. But yeah, you're going to see N later on at the end of the cave. You actually have to battle him, so that's something to look forward to. And oh, check it out, I almost forgot, it's Bianca. Yeah, who would have guessed that Bianca would come and interrupt us in the middle of the game? Who would have ever guessed that? Yeah, and not only that, she's going to bring along Professor Juniper. So yeah, we got Bianca, Juniper, all we're missing is Sharon, and it's like the old New Vamatown crew. Um, but yeah, this is just stupid. I hate these people so much. But the only good part out of this is that Juniper is going to give you the Lucky Egg. The Lucky Egg is an item you can attach to your Pokemon, and by doing so, it will increase the amount of experience points they gain in battle. So it's actually a really good item. Um, I'm not going to use it, though, just because I don't like getting my Pokemon too overpowered for walkthroughs. I like keeping them low-leveled to, uh, you know, make it a good challenge, but... Anyways, Lucky Egg is an awesome item, so you should probably use it. It's good for training up for the Elite Four and stuff. And now we can actually get through this cave. So, um, the Charge Stone Cave, you're basically just going to see all these charge stones because it's the charge stone cave right and you just push them in and they attach to the giant boulders that's ba basically how you open up your paths um we got a paralyzed heal and a wild pokemon all right you're probably wondering why i just moved over like 10 steps to the right i just had like a frenzy of wild pokemon attacking me so i'm gonna have to cut that out but don't worry i got my repel sprayed so we are good to go anyways um let's go ahead and fight this trainer over here because I decided to, to kick off 2012, I would catch my final team member. So you guys are about to see um, my sixth and final Pokemon. So here we go. We got an Ace Trainer. And you all didn't know, but this entire time I've had a brand new Pokemon up at the front of my party. Um, so yeah, we should be able to knock out this arc in here. So Here we go. This is Joltik, which is a Pokemon you can catch right here in the Charge Stone Cave. It's an electric and bug type, so that's pretty awesome. Um, he only has really one awesome move right now. It's not even awesome. I don't know why I said that, but he only has one good move right now, which is Electro Web. And, um, yeah, it's pretty strong. I, I really like having electric types, and I figured I'd need a bug type, so that's why I caught Joltik. Yeah, Electro Web's pretty cool. It does a decent amount of damage and lowers their speed, so here we go. So yeah, Webster, I mean, it's a spider, they make webs, it's it's the best I could think of. I couldn't think of any, like, awesome, cool spider arachnid nicknames, so I just went with Webster. Anyways, there's an Elixir right there, and let me go ahead and um, put the experience share on Joltik so we can gain some experience throughout the cave. And then I'll put up one of my other Pokemon, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Alright, so experience share is on Joltik. Hopefully he can gain up a few levels throughout the cave here. Um, anyways, there actually is a trainer down here, but I'm not going to fight him. There are so many trainers in the Charge Stone Cave that I just really don't feel like fighting everyone, because I think it would take like an hour if I did. So we're just going to skip um, as many trainers as we can. Anyways, yeah, Juniper and Bianca are going to come back, because they can't leave you alone for like more than two seconds. So I, gu I guess they're doing some research here or something. I never read the dialogue boxes anyway, so who knows what they're actually doing. Um, there's a hiker to battle up there if you're interested. I'm not, though, so we'll head down to the bridge. And OMG, three ninjas! Last time there were only two. Now we have another ninja. It's like, how many of these guys are there? Because I, I still don't know how they disappear. Like, it creeps me out, because they could be following me around at all times. I mean, for all I know, like, when I go to the bathroom, those ninja dudes are right there, right behind me, just staring at me. I mean, it creeps me out. How many of these guys are there? There could be hundreds of them. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and fight this scientist right here. I guess I didn't actually have to fight her, but I'll go ahead and do it anyways. I guess I can skip some trainers, but I better fight a few every now and then, so. Here's a scientist. Um, 
I guess there's some scientists doing research here in the Chargestone Cave, but basically, as far as trainers go in the Chargestone Cave, it's pretty much all Team Plasma. It's like Team Plasma, Team Plasma, and then a little bit more of Team Plasma. They're everywhere in here. Um, we're not going to see that until the next room, but it's so annoying. But yeah, we got a Clink here. Um, Clink is one of the Pokemon you can catch here in the Chargestone Cave. It's a Steel type. It evolves twice, so pretty good all-around Pokemon. Can actually learn some electric type moves, so you know, pretty versatile for a steel type. Um, so yeah, once you go down the stairs here, you're gonna run into Team Plasma. But let's go ahead and work our way back here. Um, once you get to this point, if you push over this bottom rock, you can sneak up here and grab yourself an item. And it's an iron, I think. Yep, to raise up your Pokemon's defenses and check out this view. You can actually see the floor beneath us, which is pretty awesome. But I feel like I'm gonna fall off, so let's. Not stand over there. Yeah, I'm afraid of heights, whatever. I'm sure everyone's afraid of heights. I mean, just creepy. If you're, like, right over a big edge and there's no fence or anything, it just, uh, it creeps me out. Anyway, they ran out of repels again. This bugs me because I can never find them in my bag. It's always a hassle. I wish there was just one little button you could press to spray repels. And it would save so much time, but, you know, that's life, whatever. Anyways, these two people right here are quite possibly the nicest people in the world. Why? Because, well, the dude on the right will give you a nugget. Like, the very extremely rare and valuable nugget. And then the guy on the left will also give you a nugget. Yeah, these guys are the Nugget Brothers. They just hand out nuggets to everyone. Like, seriously, nuggets, you can sell them for $5,000. And these guys are just hand them, handing them out because they're nice dudes. Like, do they just give them to everyone they see or... I don't know, whatever. Too bad there's not nice people like that in the real world that just hand out, like, $100 bills to everyone they see. So, yeah, your reward for going back here is an HP up, so pretty awesome. It's a hidden item. Make sure you don't hop over that ledge, though, because then you'll have to go all the way back around, and no one likes retracking all their footsteps in a cave. It's the most annoying thing in the world, so. Anyways, I don't think there's hidden items over here. By the way, those are floating rocks. How are there rocks just floating in midair? That blows my mind. Like, all the laws of physics you can just throw out the window here in the charged stone cave, apparently. Anyway, it's very important. Make sure you talk to the scientist right here. It's not required, but if you can beat him, which is pretty easy, um, he'll heal up your Pokemon as many times as you want. So, I mean, I know Team Plasma's not that strong, but you're going to have to fight, like, 200 of those Team Plasma grunts. So, there might be a couple times where you'll, where you'll wish you can go back and heal. So, make sure you fight this dude. And it's pretty easy. He only has a Swab Balloon. Um, the evolution of Sea Waddle, so... Bug and Grass type, not too hard to kill. Anyways, now the fun can begin because we can start our epic trail of Team Plasma Grunts. Which is right up ahead here. Yeah, just like a little short, narrow path with Team Plasma Grunts like everywhere on every single side. And you have to fight them all, it's the most annoying thing in the world. Like, not only... I hate it, it's like, I hate Team Plasma, and I hate the Charged Stone Cave. Put them together, and it's like the worst part of the game. But before we start that, um, let's grab this timer ball over here. But yeah, you can't, like, avoid these grunts. You just have to fight every single one of them. Because, you know, that's just what the game wanted you to do. I guess th their way of making you hate Team Plasma is by just throwing them in the game so much that it's like you just can't stand them. Like, you, you might not have a problem with their weird methods, but it's like... They just bug you because you have to keep fighting them over and over. And they have the same Pokemon, just like every other Pokemon game. You know, sometimes I wonder why I even enjoy these games, because all I talk about is what I hate. Like, I hate this, I hate Team Rocket, I hate Team Plasma, I hate Team Aqua, I hate Team Magma, I hate everyone. I hate them all so much, yet I keep playing the games all the time. Why do I do it? I must be crazy or something. Um, and I hate Team Galactic, too. Yeah, who could forget Team Galactic? But anyways, yeah, next we got a Scraggy. I guess Porky's doing a pretty good job here, so... Let's go ahead and knock this thing out. But yeah, I don't really I really don't know why Team Plasma's here in the Charge Stone Cave. I pretty much just come to the conclusion that they follow you around just to bug you. Like, they're not actually trying to accomplish anything. They're clearly just here to get on my nerves. Um, anyways, Porky's just gonna keep rolling through here, I guess. Because, like, so far everything we've fought has pretty much been weak to fighting, so... That's the awesome thing about Pig Knight. Fire and fighting just dominates everything. So there we go. I think that was his last Pokemon. And there we go. Joltix getting up levels pretty nicely. So everything's going smoothly so far. 
And let's move on to the next Team Plasma Grunt. And there's another one of those floating rocks, which just blows my mind. Floating rocks. Anyways, uh, Team Plasma Grunt here. But yeah, seriously, it, why are you people here? Why why would you just all come hang out in the Chargestone Cave? Like, are you looking for something? Like, do you have some kind of objective? Or are you guys just, like, just here to bug everyone? Because that's really just what I think you guys are doing. Anyways, I guess the Scraggy isn't going to go down without a fight. Ooh, Swagger. Gosh, who do you think you are confusing me? You're going to die anyways, just please let it go by quickly. <laughs> Swagger's the worst move ever, like, Because not only do you hit yourself in confusion, but you hit yourself with extra damage. It's like the worst. All right. Let's go, Porky. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Wow, seriously? Wow, now I'm actually gonna die. Wow, this is this is terrible. I just got killed because of confusion. That is perfect. Thank you, Nintendo, for coming up with confusion in Pokemon games. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over to Japan, go to the like the Nintendo offices, and find the guy that came up with the idea for confusion in these games, and I will just punch him in the face and take out all my anger from confusion. That is just terrible. Now I have to go back to that stupid scientist to get my Pokemon healed. Yeah, so I'll be right back. See you guys in a second. Alright, thank goodness for that scientist. Otherwise, I would have been screwed. Anyways, we'll keep going on here, and you can just see there's Team Plasma people lined up everywhere. It never ends. There's so many of them. I'm surprised Team Plasma could even put together this many followers. Like, who would be stupid enough to join Team Plasma? Like, I don't know if they pay them, like, a minimum wage salary for putting on those stupid costumes or what. Or maybe they're just, like, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it's just one of those stupid gangs, like, you see at school. They all think they're so cool and tough, but really everyone's like, no, you guys are just stupid. That's pretty much what Team Plasma is. Um, nice, I got poison. That is lovely. Yeah, pretty much fighting Team Plasma is boring, so you can just go off the wall and come up with stupid things to make fun of them. Um, but anyways, speaking of random off-topic things, as soon as I switch here, since I'm poisoned and I probably shouldn't face a dark type of my psychic type, um, yeah, I, felt, I feel kind of bad because I haven't had a video in like two weeks or something, and it, let me tell you, it is the most frustrating thing ever. Like. If this video gets on YouTube, I will be so happy because there I've had failed attempt after failed attempt after failed attempt to put together this video. It's it oh, it's so annoying. Two times I recorded the entire thing, which was like 30 minutes. And afterwards the audio was messed up. It happened two times. It was like, "Oh, the worst feeling ever." When I think I put together a good video, I'm finally done, and no, it's ruined. Anyways, let me heal that poison. Alright, so, if you remember, Gothita got poisoned, so I needed to find my antidote. Which, for some reason, I couldn't find in my bag. It took me, like, five minutes to find it. Um, yeah, I find it funny, though. Your bag just has unlimited space. You can just put as many things as you want in there. It's like, that's like the Hermione bag from Harry Potter. Just, you can put an endless amount of things in, and it will never get full. Of course, having bags in the older games is a pain in the neck, because you would always run out of space right when you get to an important item. Um, anyways, this dude just has a bunch of trubbishes on his team, I guess. So yeah, they should go down pretty easily. Gothita needs some more experience anyway, so this is perfect. Anyways, he's going to use Stockpile, my own strategy that works so well on my Lantern from Soul Silver version. Anyways, let's finish you off here. Ooh, your takedown missed. That is perfect. Alright, so Psybeam will finish you off. Trubbish is such a funny Pokemon. It's just... Especially when it evolves into Garbodor, which is like the funniest name, Garbodor. It's just a Pokemon based off garbage. Like, seriously, that's like... You know Trubbish is that one Pokemon that would go to Pokemon school and just get picked on and made fun of because he is just a sack of garbage. That's all he is. He's a sack of garbage. I feel You almost feel bad for him, but at the same time, it's just hilarious. Anyways, uh, let's go with another Psy Shock. Wow, this is just not this Team Plasma dude's day. He missed three times with takedown. <laughs> he did not hit me once. He just missed three times in a row. That is terrible luck. That's probably like less than a 1% chance of that happening. 
And there we go, Jill takes up to level 29. And we're learning the move Electro Ball. All right, I'll get rid of Gastro Acid for that. Electro Ball is an electric type move, obviously. It does more damage based on your speed. So if you have a really fast Pokemon and you're using it on a really slow Pokemon, it'll do a lot of damage. But if you're a slow Pokemon, using it on a really fast Pokemon won't do a lot of damage. That's kind of how that move works. As a proud member of Team Plasma, I will gladly battle with you. You're seriously a proud member of Team Plasma? You are actually proud of yourself for being in Team Plasma? You, sir, are embarrassing. Anyways, he's got a Watchdog, of course. Um, I guess I can try taking this thing out with Gathita. Not the preferred method, but we'll try it. Oh, Confuse Ray. Well, maybe this won't work out. I hate Confuse Ray. Did I, did I mention how much I hate Confusion? I think I already went over that in this video. I should probably try to, like, fit that into every video somehow, about how much I hate Confusion. Um, I'll we'll just switch out. I I don't want to deal with this right now. Um, let's go over to someone that hasn't gotten into the video yet. Bulldor! Yeah, Bulldor, I, I don't know why I haven't evolved you yet, because I said I was going to do that a long time ago. And people keep messaging me every single day, like, saying they want to help me evolve him, but uh, I just haven't done it. I don't know why. I kind of like Bulldor, but eventually I do need to evolve him into Gigalith. Yeah, there we go. We're confused again. That's perfect. That's just what I wanted. Oh, and I hit myself. That's even better. Yeah, uh, Watchdog has that annoying move, Super Fang. It does half of your damage every time, so... Yeah, kind of annoying, especially on the first turn of the battle. But luckily we didn't knock ourselves out, so that thing is going to go down. And I think he has one more Pokemon. Sandile! Alright, let's switch out. You know what, let's go to Mr. Toad, because I haven't switched over to Palpitoad yet. And he could use some action in here, so... Let's go, Mr. Toad! And actually, come to think of it, let's see, what level are you at? Alright, level 30, so, you know, he's got a few levels to go until he evolves. And that is going to be awesome, because Seismic Toad is, like, a complete beast. But, yeah, probably within, like, the next 10 videos, I'll be getting all my Pokemon evolved, which is pretty awesome. I'm excited about that. It'll be nice to see my team all come together at the end. <laughs> As a proud member of Team Plasma, Betty wishes he could take that back now. All right, so Gothita, let's actually take you out because, I don't know, I like using Mr. Toad. So we'll put Palpatoad up front. And let's see, I think there's an item back here, so let's move that stone over there. Um, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I, when I first came into this place, I was expecting, like, some crazy puzzles with all the stones, but it's really easy. I mean, there's not any, like, actual puzzles or any tricks. You just push them all forward, then you get through. It's, like, the least challenging thing ever. Which I guess I shouldn't complain about, because that'd be so annoying if you had to go th through all these hard puzzles, but I guess I was just expecting something a little tougher, I don't know. But yeah, we actually have two more Team Plasma Grunts to fight, so we're almost there. Not quite, but we're getting there. And we got a Lipard. Um, Alright, Mr. Toad. You know, I'm just about getting sick of Team Plasma, so let's try to make this quick and get these people done with so I can finally move on. Alright, what'd you use? Hone Claws? Not really gonna matter, because Scowl will take you out, hopefully. Ooh, not quite. Alright. Let's finish you off with an uproar. Okay, so we are gonna be down to one last Team Plasma member. Which is a great feeling, because we're almost done. But seriously, they have so many of these people in here. It is terrible. Um, but yeah, actually, a lot of my Pokemon, not just Mr. Toad, but a lot of my Pokemon are pretty close to evolution, because Gothita's almost evolved. Um, Bulldor I can evolve at any time. Pig Knight's getting pretty close. Um, Joldick's probably got, like, seven more levels to go. So, you know, my, my Pokemon are getting there. I'm going to have some evolutions coming up pretty soon. And, of course, Simi Sage is already fully evolved. Alright, so here we go. Final Team Plasma member of the Charged Stone Cave. I have been waiting for this since I started the video. And I've already gone through this multiple times, because like I mentioned, my recordings kept getting ruined the last time, so... Hopefully this goes through smoothly, I don't have to re-record this again, because, oh... I would just, like, seriously... If it happened for a third time, I would be so furious. And it's actually funny, because the last time I recorded this, I talked about the time it failed the first time, and I just assumed everything would go smoothly again, but... You know, I just had to screw it up for a second time. Yeah, I'm just trying out muddy water for fun, because I keep using Scald and... Oh, not confused! 
Really? Again, Confuse Ray? I'm, it's like, I'm so close, and you just have to mess with me. All right. Crossing my fingers here. Crossing my fingers. Duh. That's all I have to say. Duh. Oh, thank goodness, Hypnosis. Okay, if you put me to sleep, I would have just... That would have really angered me. Not like I don't get angered already, but... That would have just pushed me over the edge. All right, so Mr. Toad, level 31. There we go. Last Team Plasma Grunts taken care of. But we're not quite finished yet. We still have a little bit more to do. So if you want, you can go up the stairs and get out of this place. Um, or you can go downstairs. There's a couple trainers and a few items. And I feel obligated to get those items, so I'm going to do that. But I'm not going to fight these trainers because I don't want this to drag on for, you know, another half an hour longer. So let's wait for you to turn around so I can walk by. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Steady, steady. Yeah, there we go. I always love successfully walking past trainers. But yeah, this is probably going to be another 30-minute video. This is probably going to be my longest video ever, so hopefully that's a good reward to you all for being so patient and waiting through my constant struggles of trying to put together a video. Um, all right, so some more repels. And yeah, there's two ace trainers down here and then three items. This one is a bright powder. A bright powder is an item you can attach to your Pokemon. It will increase their ev evasion by 10%, so opponents are more likely to miss. Um, not a great item, but if you don't have anything else to put on it, just nothing wrong with the Bright Powder. Stick that on. It's better than nothing. There's a Hyper Potion right there, and then... Checking for hidden items. I don't think there's any over here. Um, nope, we got one more item. And I believe this is a Rare Candy. Everyone's favorite item in the world, the Rare Candy. So there's that, even though I don't really use them in my walkthroughs. By the way, some quick advice for Rare Candies. If you are going to use Rare Candies, don't use them till right before the Elite Four. Um, because the higher leveled you are, the more useful they are, because obviously the higher you get in levels, the harder it is to get up more levels. So there's no point of wasting rare candies on easier levels when you could use them on the tough levels, like in the 50s and 60s. So that's the ideal time to use your rare candies, right before the Elite Four. And while I'm straying this repel, don't buy into the myth that your Pokemon will be weaker if you give them rare candies. It's not true. Not going to go into detail about it, I'm not going to argue with you guys about it, but just trust me, you can use plenty of rare candies on your Pokemon, all of the ones you find in the game, and they will not be any weaker than if you train them up the old-fashioned way. So anyways, once you get up here, you can finally take on N and get out of here. Um, there's another trainer over there, but I'm not worried about him. We're just going to go ahead and fight N, so that's what we've been waiting for. This is the last thing you got to do here in the Charstone Cave. So yeah, that's how you cap off Team Plasma. You fight their ruler, their master, N. Such a lame name, N. No, I'm not going to rant. Okay, I've done that every time I fought him. I'm not, I don't need to make fun of your name again. I think I've done plenty of that already. But yeah, N has a completely different team. Um, basically, his team are just Pokemon you can catch here in the Chargestone Cave. So, Boulder, you can catch that in here. And he has a Joltik and a Clink and a Pharisee. It's like, this guy completely ditches every team he comes up with. Like... He's had different team members every single time. Does he just, like, ditch them, get rid of them? Like, oh, you guys suck, you lost, and catches all new Pokemon? Like, seriously, is that what it's come to with N? He calls himself the king of Team Plasma, yet he can't even keep together a good Pokemon team. Um, yeah, then he comes in with his stupid comments throughout the battle. Like, N, you're not smart. You are just an idiot. Yeah, this guy, seriously, all these Pokemon are caught in the Charged Stone Cave. It's like he just threw this team together five minutes ago. Like, seriously, while I've been wandering through this cave, fighting Team Plasma, I bet he was just catching Pokemon. That's probably what Team Plasma was in here for, just to hold me off long enough so he could find his Joltik and his Bulldore and his Clink and his Pharaseed. Like, he probably caught all these Pokemon five minutes ago. I don't know. Anyways, let's switch back over to Porky to take, over, uh, to take care of this Joltik. Yeah, N has not given me any troubles yet. Every time you fight him, it's easy. He doesn't really get tough until the Elite Four. Oh, no, wait, whoa, whoa, you did not hear anything. I'm not trying to give away spoilers or anything. That was close, though. I almost let it slip. But hopefully I didn't ruin anything for you guys. Okay, I'll, N doesn't get strong until, like, the last battle with him. I'll say that much. But anything else I may have slipped, you, you just pretend you didn't hear it, all right? Um, but, yeah, Bulldor, or not Bulldor, uh, Pig Knight can pretty much take out the rest of his team members because they're all steel types and whatnot. So yeah, Clink's going to go down. And I guess the only Pokemon I didn't talk about was Ferrisseed. Ferrisseed is a really awesome Pokemon. It's a steel and grass type. Um, super good defenses, good attack. 
Um, you got to be a little patient with it to get it evolved, but definitely worth it once you do. Well, I guess I didn't talk about Tynamo either, the electric type. Um, you can catch that Pokemon in here. It's really weak early on, but once you evolve it, it's one of the best Pokemon in the game. So, If you're patient, you can get some good Pokemon in here. So there we go, and that was not challenging at all. N probably stands for never winning. Uh, that was a terrible joke. All right, here comes Bianca again. Perfect. And there's Juniper. I wonder where Sharon is during all this chaos. He's probably out, you know, training up his Pokemon. Well, I have to waste my time listening to N and Juniper, you know, arguing back and forth. It's like, N, just get out of here. You lost. Seriously, stop hanging around us. So yeah, he leaves over to Mistralton City. And honestly, Juniper and Bianca, this cave is so hard to get through. You came this entire way, and you get right to the exit, and what do you do? You walk away. They walk away. They don't want to leave, so... I don't understand. Um, oh, crap! I forgot! I gotta... F oh, there's one last item down here. Alright, alright. How stupid of me. I'm just... I'm making fun of Bianca and Juniper for going back into the cave, and now I'm going back in to get this last item. Oh, great, that's that's terrible. But unfortunately, I have to face this guy, so it's just going to be long and painful. Right when I think I'm done with the charred stone cave, I have to go do one last battle. All right, I'm sorry for making fun of you, Juniper and Bianca. Maybe they were just going back in to find more items. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll take care of this Whimsicott here. Yeah, Whimsicott is... We definitely haven't seen this yet. Um, it's a grass and flying type, which is pretty crazy. We haven't seen that since, like, Tropius, basically. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy to take out. It's not that strong of a Pokemon. So there we go. Take care of that pretty easily. And you know what that means. We have one last Pokemon until we are done with the Charge Stone Cave. Which is the best feeling ever. Anytime you get out of the cave. Um, oh, it's a Tartoga. Okay, you know what? Let's actually go over to uh, Joltik. So yeah, Joltik fought the first trainer in here. And we're going to fight the last trainer with him too. And I gotta say, I am pretty impressed with, I mean, level 30, that's that's awesome. One video, already get him up to level 30, right on par with the rest of the team, that is awesome. So, let's go with an Electro Ball to knock this thing out. Actually, does this, I forget if it has the sturdy ability. No, I guess not. Alright, so it gets knocked out. And there we go! That guy's name was Ace Trainer Corky. Seriously, that's your name? Corky is... Is that like a nickname, or is that your actual name that your parents gave you? Corky? I don't know. Anyways, the item is a magnet, which is actually something I need. It boosts up electric type moves 20%. And with that said, we can finally get out of here over to Mistralton City. So congratulations if you've made it this far. You are done with the Chartstone Cave, and you never have to go back. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.